Hi, my name is Trent and I'm going to be doing a review on the iRule application for iOS devices. It's built for iPad, iPod Touch and iPhone. This application gets rid of the clutter from your normal conventional remotes. To have full functionality of iRule, you need a Global Cache iTac or GC100. I'm using a GC100-12 which is the top of the line for the Global Cache controllers. This has six IR inputs or sensor inputs three relays and two RS-232s. So this is my layout of an iRule. Anybody can set it up differently, as most professional as you want or as simple as you want. This is my home screen, so when you open the application, it comes to this straight up. I have my lights, which I've photoshopped myself, uh, the heading, and I've got my light switches. So you've got my theatre, off button, on button, and anywhere in between entertainment room, patio, front door, etc. I've got a computers button which takes me to my free NAS, my router or my torrents which you can go into and you can access your torrents. To demonstrate the simplicity of iRule I'll go through a demo now. Okay we'll go to TV. So it turns the TV on. A couple of seconds later it changes it to your TV, so rather than HDMI 1 or whatever, it changes it to your TV channel. So then you've got your volume go up, and if you want to change the channel, you just have to click on the channel that you want to choose. So channel 9, and channel 9 is displaying. If you want to watch something else, you just click on that button as well. So 72, and there's 72 in the background. Now you also got your channel buttons which I've added just for future use if you if there's another new channel that's come out and that we haven't updated the iPad software, you can just go up and down as so. So from here I'll show you how to go to a different source, so such as Boxy. So first of all we'll turn the TV on everything off. So we'll turn it off so we can I can demonstrate how it changes it to a different HDMI input. So click Boxy, turns the TV on, turns Boxy on, and a couple of seconds later, once the TV is ready, it sends another IR signal to turn it to HDMI 1. And there we go. Now that Boxy box is loaded, I'll show you how it works. So these use a HTTP network protocol rather than using an IR signal because Boxy box doesn't actually have IR. It uses an RF remote. So you just got your left, right, so you can go into your files and you know you've got your movies down here, your free NAS, which is another computer which holds your movies. So from here we'll just go to PlayStation. We'll turn the boxy off. And now the box is off, come back over here and we'll go to the PlayStation. So this will turn the PlayStation on, the TV to different HDMI. and PlayStation's booting up now. At the moment, the PlayStation, you cannot turn it off with iRule because it's using Bluetooth remotes and it's not a discrete on and off. It's using, you have to hold down the PS button, scroll down to shut down and then go yes. So they don't actually have that functionality in the built into the PlayStation. I have created a, a, a bit of an electrical hack if you're tech savvy like me. I've made a, a relay switch for my boxy where I've taken some cables out of the on off switch from the internal switch and put it through relays which I've attached to a, another relay on the G, Global Cache GC112 um, to turn my boxy on and off and that made it discrete as well using two relays into the two relays of the Global Cache. So now that you've got your um, PlayStation up, you can go left and right. So we'll go, you know, left, and you know that's it. So turn that off. You act, like I said, you can't actually turn your PlayStation off as of yet. All right. From there, we'll go back over to our TV, and and we'll just demonstrate how it changes again. And that's it.
Now to go through some pros and cons associated with iRule, you've got a few cons and a few pros. Mainly overall, it is an awesome app and it is well worth the price that you pay for it. Now, the app itself is free in the App Store, so you can download that, but the builder to create this interface does cost $50. They do have a two week trial, so you can play around and have a bit of fun with it before you actually have to pay the $50 for the basic version or $100 for the pro version, which gives you feedback such as the volume, where it's at, and it shows you on the iPad. Now, you can upgrade from the basic version for an extra $50 later down the track if you want to go the basic straight up, which I recommend doing that, just getting used to it and then going pro once you got used to everything working. So the pros would be the ease of use in functionality, so one button does everything almost. It just, you know, it, it, it's, you look at it and you can tell what it, it's going to do. You know, you, you want to watch TV, it turns, it does it all for you. It turns it on, it changes it to the channel. You know, you have the picture of the channel that you want to go to. It does it all for you, which is fantastic. Now, another pro is that you can have all your AV equipment in another room completely all together, out of the way, hidden in a corner or wherever you want it. You don't need it in front, underneath your TV where IR remotes can see it. So you can put that away, hidden away, have the TV on the wall with nothing else underneath it. So that's a pretty good function, functionality of the iRule. Some cons. You've, if you want to be picky, you've got some things like up the top you've got the bar which takes up a little bit of room and at the bottom you've got another bar. Overall, it's, it's not a big thing, it's being picky, but I, I, I like the professional look of the whole thing. Another one would be if you're going to have lock it on this screen so it has this screen, um, it, it, it doesn't lock the iPad so you can pick it up and take off where you left off from it. It would be good for the screen to fade away so it's not so bright when you're watching a movie and maybe come back to life when you actually pick it up by movement. It, it, it knows that it, it wants to be used and that it, it comes back to life for you. Another con about having iRule is that you have to actually go out and purchase a controller such as an iTac or a GC100 which uh, can be reasonably pricey. You've got the basic iTax, which costs around about 100 US dollars, and then you go upwards to 300-ish dollars for the top of the range Global Cache AI um, GC100 series, as I have, um, which are reasonably expensive, but if you want to have all the functionality that does everything, it's worth paying for it. I managed to get mine secondhand off eBay for 100, 150 US dollars delivered, which is pretty good, and that's to Australia. Um, also, you've got your setup, so your building, your building interface, which is um, to, to build everything on here. That the user actually does that themselves. It is it, it is reasonably easy to pick up, and they've got tutorials on their website and how tos, and they've got a, a forum at iRulecommunity.com. Also, not everything works with with the iRul. So you have things like your PlayStation or, and your Boxy Box. BoxyBox uses a RF remote, PlayStation uses a Bluetooth remote. Now, iRule doesn't actually have an interface that, that relates to RF or um, Bluetooth or the Global Cache, sorry, don't, don't work with it. But you can get ways around that, such as your PlayStation does have a Logitech, um, a Logitech adapter which you can go, that goes to IR, so you have all the functionality except a few things like you have, you can't turn off properly like discrete on off, you can just go through the functions like your normal PlayStation one. So in conclusion, iRule is an awesome app that you can use that just controls everything and does it really well. It's definitely well worth the money, you know, $50 for the builder and a couple hundred dollars for your iTac or GC100s. Um, you know, it, You've got iPhones, iPod touches, iPads sitting around the house. You can just make use of that and just turn it into a, a controller that controls everything. Hide away all your remotes and your devices in another room if you want. Um, and it takes care of the rest.